Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Steve, and I'm back with another review and another week of super, super, and super branded reviews from Civil War to Secret Wars and everything. So, hope you guys will enjoy this phone. And I have to tell you, I really missed all of you. And thanks for all of your comment on my vacation and everything. So, yeah, I, I was, I really enjoyed that phone. Hope you guys will like it. And here we go. Without wasting any time, I'm gonna do the review from adventuresinbuilders.com. This review is by David Brooke. So, yeah, after disappointing first issue, I dive into issue two to deem it good or not. Hopefully we find a gem of a story that was bruising last month. Is it good? So, this issue is a nice surprise indeed. Well, the last issue felt very drawn out and boring. This issue kicks things into gear as we uncover how each side works and get closer to finding out who killed the women that arranged the peace talks. If you were just joining us, there are two sides to America, the blue and the iron. And as we learned last month, Captain America never died at the end of Civil War. But instead runs his own side of the country. His enemy is Iron Man, the president of the Iron, and he controls the food and is holding that over Captain America's head. They have been at war for years, but the assassination was the last straw of of course, both sides didn't do it, at least Cap and Iron Man were not aware of who did it. And this series is a mystery, not only to solve the murder, but also to discover what has become of America and its heroes. So Charles Old writes a strong issue here, with a good pace and lots of reveals into this new world. Both sides are at war and Soul writes each character very well. It's clear they're war-torn, angry and exhausted via their dialogue and actions. It's fun to see Storm, Colossus and others pop up in this issue too and so very efficiently gets us inside their head. So meanwhile we get to see what Cap and Beast have been cooking up and it's by no means a hero's type of weapon. One might argue it's worse than the Registration Act but with war comes disparate times and disparate measures. Meanwhile Spider-Man is on edge because he wants to be reunited with Mary Jane and his daughter. So this is an element that gives the issue a bit of urgency and will be interesting to see how Spider-Man plays out as the wild card with all his pent up anger and frustration. So one is separate side of the coin is Iron Man who is clearly just as stubborn and dedicated to being the hero he's always been. So it's nice to see how he and She-Hulk have crafted a relationship. They get some choice scenes together and it's it's clear this issue is developing him as the true detective of the series. Ultimately all of these elements reveal a much more detailed and robust world that wasn't even slightly present last issue. A huge help in making this an interesting tie-in that said everything that that occurs in this series doesn't seem to be tied to Secret Wars in the slightest, at least not yet. It's all self-contained and does not go outside its battle world walls. So the art by Linnell Francis Yu is flat out spectacular, particularly his panels showcasing the blue and iron hem home bases. The detail he gives to technological elements is so interesting to look at. This is in part due to how they look real and might just work in the real world. There isn't a lot of action in this issue, but there are dramatic beats that work incredibly well due to use ability to draw some haunting expressions. Storm in particular look yeah, bad as as hell, and he really nails her scene. If you can make some lightning and clouds look awesome, you're doing your job right. So hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like. And yeah, I missed all of you guys again. Yeah, and right now I'm gonna continue my reviews after Civil War issue number two, Secret Wars tie-in review. I'll be moving on to Injustice and uh, what is this? Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows three review. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Have a great day don't forget to leave a like and just go to the store buy this comic book and enjoy all the day have a great day